That was CBS 2 exclusive tonight. We are hearing from the sister of a man killed in a crash in Jersey City. It happened early this morning on Patterson Plank Road. Two other people died and three others were hurt. CBS 2's Naveen Dhaliwal reports safety advocates want more done to prevent future crashes. This is one of the last photos Nicole Weidenfeld has of her younger brother Dylan with his girlfriend Karen and niece at his parents' home on Sunday. We loved him very much. He loved everyone he came in contact with. Everyone loved him. It was just hours before he was killed. Blame it on a weed or something in my heart. Oh. He was really good on stage. Yeah, he. he expressed with his whole heart. The 26-year-old actor and singer lived with his beloved dog, Bo. He had a whole life ahead of him, but in the blink of an eye, a Jersey City car crash Monday morning changed everything. We were sleeping and I just heard my mom scream and I, I don't know, I just knew the scream of a mother losing her child is just, it's, it's haunting. Police say Weidenfeld was driving a Kia sedan that collided with a BMW SUV on Patterson Plank Road. Police say there were five people in that BMW. Two of them were killed, three others injured. And now some are questioning the safety of this road. And I've, dri I've driven down that road. I know, I know it's not safe. Safe streets advocates say this stretch of road was identified in a recent study as having a higher rate of crashes than other Hudson County roads. I don't know, you hear about these things happening and you, you get angry about it because people shouldn't be dealing with these things. People shouldn't be losing people because of a dangerous road and then it happens to you. As Nicole deals with that heart-wrenching thought of her brother's last moments, there's this picture of him smiling. I know a lot of people who um, think back to their last memory and they, they regret it. Um, and I regret that that was my last memory with him, that I, I have a last memory with him, but I'm, I'm grateful that that's the one I get to look back on. Providing some peace. In Jersey City, Naveen Dhaliwal, CBS 2 News. An official with Hudson County tells CBS2 that safety improvements have been added to the road and there are talks about potentially installing a median.